What degrees and certifications do you guys need to advance your career in IT? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions and today I'm gonna to tell you what degrees, certifications you guys need to advance your career in IT. And the answer simply is none. You don't necessarily need any degrees or certifications to advance your career in IT. Do they help? Yes, they help. Do you need them? No. What do you need? Experience. Experience is going to be one of the greatest things to help you advance your career in IT. To really start this off, it really depends on what you want to do as far as advancement. You know, system administration, system engineer, network administration, network engineer, you know, um, the list could go on. You know, director, um, developer, uh, security analyst, security engineer. There's so many different titles and, and different, you know, the title thing is just a joke anyway. There's so many different things out there um, that you could be. There's so many different things in IT, so much out there, right? So the number one thing that you need to advance your career in IT, don't care about your degrees and I don't care about your certifications. Don't care about them. Experience, 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 experience. Get experience. If you want to be an engineer, however, you want that top level, you wanna be top level, right? And not everybody who is going into IT wants to be top level. So if you're going to leave a comment and be like, I want to be top level, blah, 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 blah. Not everybody wants to do that, right? Not everybody wants to be a director, engineer, um, some big fancy analyst position, right? Not everybody wants to do that. But if that's what you want to do, you definitely want to look at all of those big fancy certifications, or maybe you want to look at a degree. If you want to advance to those top level titles, to that top level tier of IT, you know, you want to be that director. You don't necessarily need a degree to be a director. Uh, you don't necessarily need a degree to be an engineer. But what you do need is experience. But having a degree and having certifications, they'll help you get to a lot of these different positions for sure you know they'll help you experience will help you and that's one thing that you can hustle for without paying for a certification without paying for a degree you can hustle your way through IT and all you have to do is work for it work hard put your mind to it and literally that you can do it hustle your way through it and that's like my motto like just hustle just hustle 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 because if you can put your mind to like learning everything that you possibly can and putting 110 percent into your job and advancing at every opportunity that you can you know going that extra mile at every step that you can you will advance and advance and advance. And the great thing about IT is the career hopping that you can do, right? I start out, for instance, at a help desk job, right? You start out as a, as a help desk, work there two years, and then you can go be like a technician, right? So, and, and this, I'm kind of using this analogy a little bit, right? Technicians, like right above help desk, right? You go be like a, a level two technician for um, a year or two, and then you could be like a senior tech for a year or two, and there's there's like six years right there. After you're a senior tech for a year or two, you can, then you can be like a systems administrator. Be a systems administrator for a couple years, right? After you're a systems administrator, you could be um, a systems engineer, 
maybe you don't want to be a systems administrator anymore. Maybe you're like, I like networking. And during this entire eight year span right here, help desk and technician, senior tech and system administrator, you've taught yourself networking. Now you want to be a network administrator. But maybe during that, that entire eight year span of being in IT, you've really taught yourself a lot of networking, right? You're going to be a network engineer. It's possible. There's so many possibilities. And let's not, let's take out networking altogether. You focus so much on security when you were a systems administrator or a senior tech even, that you're just gonna be a security analyst, right? You're gonna be a security engineer. There's so much room for advancement based on your experience, based on how hard you hustle, and based on what you put your mind to. It's possible. You know, you don't need the big fancy degrees and the big fancy certificates. They will help you. You don't need them. And I'm here just to tell you that. That's it. This is truth. Like, this is just like, here's 100% truth. You want 100% truth? Here's your 100% truth. But now you're saying, Zach, I don't need this big fancy degree to be this top level person in IT. And I don't need this big fancy certification to be this top level in IT. Why am I going to go to school? Why am I going to get a certification to begin with? How are you going to work in IT? Period. How are you going to get into IT? You're going to need to go get a degree if that's your path that you're going to go down. You need to go get a certification like an A+. You need to get your foot in the door somehow. Go get your foot in the door by getting some of these certifications or degrees. You know, that's part of it. That's part of this whole process. Again, there's just all this, you know... Um, commotion sometimes wrapped around degrees and certifications and you need this and you need that to do this and you need this to do that. The truth is you don't like you don't need this to do that and you don't need this to do this. It's you need experience to do all of it. I hope that kind of makes sense. I hope this is kind of like truth like coming at you. So that's all I got for you guys. You know, I, I kind of like wanted to lay that down like, bam, here's a little bit of truth coming at you. You know, I still 100% like agree with degrees. I love degrees. I still 120% agree with certifications. They're amazing and they help so much. But those, either one of those degrees, certifications, they're not for everybody. And I stand here right in front of you, proof they're not for everybody. Plain and simple. So that's all I got for you guys. Hope you found this helpful and truthful. Take it easy.